looking at the AC TIG function in the manual mode. It's a dual menu layer system. We've got the home screen and then you've got a root menu with the waveform to make the changes required for the specific well parameters. It's a case of setting these global parameters we can see on the home menu first, utilizing the arrow keys to get across to the various functions. In this case, it's our start function, HF, lift, live. We've got an amplitude selector can make a, a number of changes to the way that the AC wave is working there. We've got the facility to change the triggering device with spot function in AC at the end of that one. And we also have pulse facility. It's pulse on, there's also an advanced pulse function. If we then look at the root menu, you can see the usual waveform is displayed and it's a case of use the arrow keys to go from one function to another, making the changes required. Five waveforms within AC. Go to the function make the changes with the dial, move along. Preflow, start amps, upslope, waveform, AC frequency, AC balance, downslope, end amps, post flow. Once done, hit the home menu screen, you're good to go. If we need to add in a pulse facility, we put pulse on and hit the root menu button. We can now see we've got our pulse parameters displayed and we can go in and make the required changes highlighted in red. Make a change as we see fit on the specific parameter. Move along and then once done, back to the home screen, we're good to go. If the amps need changing, we can see it's highlighted in red there. It's a case of turn the dial and we're there.